What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are reviewing the brand new hero card, Alex the Player, that has a rule breakers card that still to this very day I am very scared of because it can literally do everything, pace, shooting, dribbling, it's got everything in the locker with four star skill moves and four star weak foot as well. Now the real question today is, is this card going to be exactly the same? as the rule breakers or is it going to be slightly better because this card right here has got more pace but it's got less shooting which means i have used a complete different chem style for this card compared to the one i used for the rule breakers 94 pace 84 dribbling 80 shooting 76 physical with the 77 passing as well he is five foot nine he has got low high low work rates four star skill moves four star weak foot now when it comes down to the chem style finisher and he is on 10 chem. Now, I did pick him up for 289,000 coins. And his rule breakers card is going for around 241 to 255k. Depending if you're on Xbox or PS4. Now, do I feel like this hero card will stay at that price? Most likely not. I feel like this card will drop to around 180k, 190k, maybe even 200k as well. So just keep that in mind. Don't beat me. Don't pick him up for that price because he will drop in price. Pace wise. Now, I believe I gave his pace a 9.3 out of 10 last time. And obviously this card being faster, it should be a little bit better. But on that other card, I used the Hunter Kemp style. And that is why the pace was so, so high. Shooting. I remember this guy shooting to, still to this very day. And he was absolutely unbelievable. I believe he scored two. No, he scored five goals in two games, grabbing himself an assist as well. And that is what I'm expecting of this card as well. Because of the chem style that I have used. I used the hunt on the other one. Finish on this one. 89 attacking positioning. 96 finishing. With the 88 shot power as well. This is the real test. This is the test to see. If chem styles really work. To the point where it actually says it works. You know. 96 finishing is pretty impressive. The real question is. Is it going to feel like 96 finishing? Passing ability. I remember his passing was pretty good. It wasn't insane. But it was pretty good. Dribbling ability, he's got 99 agility, 84 balance, 81 reactions, he's got the 84 ball control, 98 dribbling, and 85 composure as well. So he should feel really, really good on the ball, just going doing a little cheeky twist and turns, and hopefully, after doing the twist and turns, he can bury the ball into the back of the net. Stamina wise, 92 stamina is absolutely insane, 76 strength with the 55 aggression is pretty good. I would have liked a bit more aggression. But it is what it is at the end of the day. Now today I have linked them up with the Rule Breakers Talishka card and the Paulinho card as well. The exact same cards that I actually linked up the Rule Breakers card with. I'm keeping pretty much every, everything the same. I want to see the difference between the two. I want to compare the two. And I want to know which one is actually better and which one is worth the coins to buy. But I will be using Alex in a 4-4-2 in that striker position. But let's get into the games. Now, something I should notice straight away with Alex is he's dribbling. Because I had the other card on a Hunter Kemp style, and I've got this card on a finisher, his dribbling should be better. Now, by, just by dribbling like this, I can tell it's slightly better, but it's not a big, big difference. Alex has made a decent run in behind. Hopefully, he can use that pace just to get in behind. Look at that acceleration instantly coming to play. Look at the sprint speed. Oh, he's red. Oh, no way. He read the way I was going to go. Then all of a sudden, he moved the keeper back, like right there. And that's when I shot that finesse shot across goal, and it actually went in. I'm going to go for a long shot here. Hopefully, it's actually on target, and it actually goes into the back of the net. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This guy here has given up playing. He's literally put down his controller, and he's making it go just one direction. So, I said, why not? Let's try out Alex's long shots. And the fact that that went in is insanely impressive because I had no intention of that going in at all, especially on that weaker foot. Dembele. Something I'm noticing is his runs. His runs are still absolutely amazing. Just going to go for a skill run right here. A few step overs into the space. Ah, oh, I tried to do a fake shot. Lacroquette into that early finish. But yeah, his runs, absolutely unbelievable. As soon as he sees someone out of position, he makes that run instantly in behind. Dembele. Over to Alex. R1 turn. Hopefully I can get that pace. That fake shot around the corner. Can I get that early shot towards the near post? Yes, I can. Right now, his finishing ability is just looking as good as that rule breakers card. Alan. Over to Alex. Boys, I'm going to go for it again. I'm honestly going to go for it again. 
if that goes in, I'm walking out this room. It's simple as that. No way it works twice. Dembele, once again, Alex straight in behind as soon as he sees that out of that centre back out of position. He's got a pace. I'm gonna try to go down line. Ball roll in. Look at that footwork. Just look at a footwork. The fact that he still had the ball there and the opponent just didn't take it just shows how good he keeps that ball next to his feet and how hard it is to actually tackle him. Paulinho. To Alex. Two step overs. I'm gonna give it to Dembele. Turn. Finish. That was a very, very weird finish, but great positioning from Alex once again. And that is something I'm noticing from him. He's not that player to consistently go in behind. He's also a player that likes to come short the majority of the time. Quick one, two. Use that pace. Use that pace. Keep going. Oh my god. I can definitely say he is slightly faster than his rule breakers card. But I am noticing the two exactly the same pretty much. Dribbling this card, I must admit, is slightly better because of that finisher chem style. But the shooting on the dot. Alex coming short once again. Going to go for that quick turn. Ball roll. Through the gap. A few step overs. Bring it to the cross. Go for the sweat. And it is going to be an easy finish. 35 minutes in and we're going to be 3-0 up. This guy cannot handle Alex right now. Dembele. Over to Alex. R1 turn, unbelievable turn. I'm going to go for that cross goal finish and it just goes in. I don't think Alex has missed a single opportunity so far. Alan, all the way over to Alex. Going to give it the little LT fake shot kind of thing. I'm going to go for the cross goal finish and I'm trying to shoot at hard angles now because clearly all the easy chances are going to go in. So I want to really, really test it out and try to shoot at very extreme angles. Alex, fake shot, ball roll. Going to go for that finesse shot and there you go. That's what I was expecting when I was doing that first finesse shot. But apparently went flying into the back of the net. Dembele. Over to Alex. Unbelievable turn. Oh my god. That was so good. I'm going to go for a finesse shot towards the near post. And I've overpowered it. That's so annoying. I shouldn't have overpowered that. That's such an easy opportunity. But what a turn. Going to pass it to Alex. That's a good touch. That's decent strength for Hernandez is going to win that battle. And that's what I mean. Sometimes I would just love to see Alex with actual like proper strength. Because if he does get that strength, it's game over. Alex with the ball. That's a great turn. Ball roll. Going to try to turn like that. Ball roll again. Fake shot. Get that shot off. And it is going to be an easy goal. Amazing. Just like composure. Just waiting for the perfect moment to go for that shot. So it is time to review him. Three games played, five goals with the two assists as well. The guy is simply unbelievable. We're not playing in some crappy division, no. We're playing in Division 1 at like 2,000 something skill rating, which is crazy, crazy good because you're going to match up pretty decent players, right? So Alex can do that against decent players. Imagine what he could do against not the greatest. Let's all be fair. But either way, Alex, this card compared to his other card, there's not that big of a difference. But there is like a few stuff like pace for this card. I felt like this one was actually faster by a little bit. But even with the other card having a Hunter Chem style and having better stats, I felt like it came down to more dribbling. That's why he felt faster and that's why he felt better on the ball as well. Now, which one would I choose? It doesn't really matter. They're pretty much exact same. Just go for the cheapest option. If this card is the cheapest option, go for it. If the other card is the cheaper option, go for that one. It honestly does not matter between the two. Now, I don't really need to go between 5 for 9, high, low, 4 4, because I already pretty much gone through them with the other card, but they're absolutely insane. Love the high, low work rates, love the skill moves, love the weak foot. Pace, I am going to give him a 9.3 out of 10, exactly the same as the last one, because even though this one felt slightly, slightly faster, I still feel like it's not enough to push to the 9.4s or even to the 9.5s. Shooting, and I even doubted shooting at the start. I said, is the finisher chem style going to come into play? You know, 96 finishing, as you clearly can see, it did. So for everyone that was in the comment section, I like... Has seen so many people comment before saying chem styles don't really work. Chem styles don't really work. Let's be real. Do you think someone that had 81 finishing would finish the same way he finished today? 
For me, personally, no. So for chem stars, for me, they do work 100%. And that is why I'm going to give his shooting stats the exact same that I did with the rule breakers. And it is going to be a 9.3 as well. Passing ability, still top tier. Works with both feet. Short passing is so, so consistent. And the vision and the long passing kind of balance it out each other. So it's like he still is able to do the over top through balls, but not as consistently as you would like it to be. So for passing, I will give him an 8.2 out of 10. Dribbling amazing honestly feels amazing i do feel like this card still feels slightly better when it does come down to dribbling so i will give him a slightly higher rating and that is a 9.4 i believe i gave the other card a 9.3 so this one 9.4 out of 10 for dribbling physicality still a bit disappointing with strength and aggression i still see him fight for the ball a little bit but not to the point where i want him to really really fight for the badge like he hasn't really got that into his game but he's still a player that gets unlimited bounces which is always going to be annoying but stamina jumping is obviously still pretty decent so for physicals i will give him a 7.3 out of 10 but an overall rating out of 10 i'm gonna give it the exact same as the other card a 9.1 so it honestly does not matter between the two this card is just as good as the rule breakers it's just simple as that but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did leave a like leave a comment and for now peace